Hello friends, welcome to Maths Nerd. Today we will see an easy method for solving quadratic equations. So a quadratic equation is an equation with the highest power 2 and a single variable. The standard form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b and c are all integers while x is an unknown variable. So there are a few steps on how to solve this. The first step is that we have to factorize this expression in two brackets and the next step is to solve each factor equal to 0. So in order to factorize first we need to split this the term bx into two parts so that so for that we have to first multiply a into c a into c that will give us a product ac and then we have to split ac into two factors such that the first factor added to the second factor will give us will give us b and their product will be ac let's start with an example now we'll apply the same logic here to solve this equation so x squared is literally 1x squared and this is 2 so here a is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 3 because it is a negative that is we are subtracting it and C is equal to 2. So 1 into 2 is 2 and here goes the two factors when added will give us minus 3 so for to get minus 3 we have to find two numbers that will add to minus 3 and also their product will be 2 so they can be minus 1 and minus 2 as negative into negative is positive and their sum will be minus 3 so minus 1 and minus 2 so we can write this as 1x squared minus 1x minus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0 and it is perfectly fine as minus 1x minus 2x is minus 3x and then you might be wondering how we can factorize it into two brackets well we can use the distributive laws of multiplication Taking 1x common in these two terms, we can write 1x or x times x minus 1. And taking minus 2 common in these two terms, we can write x minus 1. And this whole is equal to 0. Now x minus 1 is again common in this whole expression. So we will write x minus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to 0 and we have factorized it. Now let's see how we can find the value of x. So there, there must be two possible values as that's how the rule goes. So to find both the values we will use the basic laws. That is any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So either of them should be 0 so that we get this 0 here. So either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x can be 0 plus 1 or it can be 0 plus 2. 
सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन और एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू एंड बोथ ऑफ दीज आंसर फिट एग्जैक्टली करेक्ट इन टू दिस इक्वेशन राइट ओवर हियर वन मोर एग्जाम्पल कमिंग अप so in this example a is equal to 3 b is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to minus 8 and then a into c is 3 into minus 8 so that is minus 24 and then we want a pair of number whose product will be minus 24 and their sum will give us to b that is minus 2 so one of them will be negative and the other will be positive and they can be 4 and minus 6 because 4 into minus 6 is minus 24 and 4 Minus six is minus two because plus into minus is minus. So let's write here three x squared plus four x minus six x plus eight. Oh, sorry, minus eight. Is equal to zero. So taking x common in these two terms, the distributive loss. So it is three x plus four. So and taking minus two common in these two terms, three x plus four is equal to zero. So 3x plus 4 is common in this expression, so we we'll write like this: 3x plus 4 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So either of them will be equal to 0 because 0 multiplied by any number is 0. So either 3x plus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0 so 3x is equal to minus 4 or x is equal to 0 plus 2 oh 3x upon 3 or i i must say x is equal to minus 4 divided by 3 or x is equal to 2 and that's it these both are perfect answers for the question feel free to ask your doubts in the comments thank you for watching this video please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos